So success and failure in business, you know, what is the essence of it? Is it having a blue ocean strategy or is it buying all of Michael Porter's sophisticated books on business strategy or is it something else? Years ago, uh, the great hotelier, perhaps the greatest ever, Conrad Hilton in his mid 80s was uh, finally retiring. And as part of that whole process, there were one of those rather typical roasts somewhere in New York and 15 people walked up to the podium and they said, I remember when Conrad Hilton, blah, 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 and told these cute stories. Uh, at the end of it all, as is also the tradition, Mr. Hilton himself was uh, asked to, uh, to come up to the podium and he was a very regal looking man. And so as the story is told, Mr. Hilton uh, walks up to the podium and squares himself away in front of the podium and the MC had said, Mr. Hilton, will you share with us your secrets of business success? And again, as the tale is told, Mr. Hilton squares himself away behind the podium and looks at the audience and said, remember to tuck the shower curtain into the bathtub. And with that, he turns and he walks off the stage. And at some level, when you look at car companies crashing and banks going down, to some extent, it was because all sorts of people didn't remember to tuck the shower curtain into the bathtub. Years ago, I worked in Washington, D.C., more or less on the White House staff for a while, and I had this boss by the name of Fred Malik, who was a very successful entrepreneur in doing his Washington stint. And I remember the one-liner from Fred, I shall remember it until my next to last breath. And he said, execution is strategy. As far as I'm concerned, we talk too damn much about strategy. The deal is getting the job done and getting it done with excellence. You want to be a success in life? Don't forget to tuck the shower curtain into the bathtub. That's it.